Okay, so I've been asked uh, a question on uh, how you deal with fear of change. For example, it could be like being forced back to work uh, when that's unwanted. And I think that's a, a very, very great question, which my ego experiences when things seem to happen that, um, that it doesn't want to happen, or especially when there's radical change or work involved. Uh, two things my uh, ego doesn't like, uh, being out of control and doing work. <laughs> I mean, the ego doesn't like doing work because it's, it's, it's work, it's not pleasure. It's not being blissed out in, in the eternal now, you know, just sitting on a, sitting on a rock, being blissed out, happy and uh, for in an eternal stillness. So uh, having to actually slog away. But um, so what do I do? Well, you know, the thing I always do with anything Whenever my ego uh, experiences any any change in the world, or even demands of the world that it needs to do work and be perfect and show up for the world, I realize that that is a that I mean actually nothing is really happening. So what's actually happening? I mean there is nothing happening in the world, and there's nothing happening in my ego except when my ego chooses to identify with thoughts, feelings or uh, responsible work, works and works one which I'll give my view on uh, and you know it's um, it, it's complicated you know um, one of the Course in Miracles lessons is I'm sustained only by the love of God so, so God sustains my financial affairs my abundance my money my security God sustains every aspect of my life and there seems to be a grace and a miraculous flow that always the right money and things are provided when I'm in that God consciousness. However, as soon as I am in ego consciousness, as soon as I'm battling the world and resentful at the world and fighting the world and not handing the future into the hands of God and seeing that I need to be perfect and others need to behave the way I want, then I go into what I call levels of ego consciousness a kind of a resistance to the present moment. And my ego is identifying tomorrow is gonna to be horrible. I'm gonna to have to work, I'm gonna to have to think, um, I have to pay the bills, all of this, all these thoughts start to mute. And this kind of being cut off from grace, being cut off from absolute trust and presence and happiness now, means that in my experience, I start to actually experience unmanageability. The work does seem hard. Um, my boss seems hard, uh, the bill seems quite scary, and, and the world seems very fearful. And actually, I sort of see that it's, and actually all my fears that I project are gonna come true, they do. It seems like er the world's against me. As I, as I go down into this ego, fear-based thinking, not handing things over consciousness. So it is very much like the 12 steps. Step one, I'm powerless, I'm unmanageable, is because when I'm not connected to God's infinite trust and presence and love and joy, and just being here now out of my ego thoughts, um, then, you know, I am fighting God, I'm fighting the future, I'm fighting life, I'm in my narcissistic self-centered thinking, and I want everything to go my way. And that is like a block to grace, to presence, to trusting that I'm only sustained by the love of God, not just in all aspects, the body's health, finances, bills, money arriving for bills, whatever it is, because I am in a moment, I mean, actually in resistance to God, resistance to the present moment. I'm not here now, I'm in the future. And I'm projecting that my boss is horrible, the work's gonna be horrible, that I'm gonna to have to think and work and it's gonna be horrible. So all of that for me is ego consciousness. And that actually, it's like when I'm in illusions, when I'm in separation, it's like I'm in a nightmare where it seems my projections come true. Everything becomes unmanageable uh, and there's not enough money and, and, and my boss is horrible and all of that. And then, so what I've learned through, I guess, since meeting uh, Hawkins, my near-death spiritual experience and uh, uh, self inquiry teacher is that always when I completely let go of my ego, uh, money and things start to actually, I start, to, it seems like money starts to come in from left, right and uh, left field, right side. And I trust always things were going to show up monetary wise. There is no fear. 
Um, so really for me then, if I have problems around work and money and financial security, let's call, and is one thing I often have to hand over, uh, not at the moment, because my um, abundance is so prosperous at the moment that actually I have more money than I ever had. So it's actually the opposite. But um, work, actually having to do something with demands placed on me is another thing. Th those are two separate things. Will, will my financial needs be met in the future? And having something which you could call a boss telling you you have to do this perfectly and do that and tick all the boxes by the end of the day. So those are two things. So what I realized to get from ego consciousness around that to God consciousness, I have to transcend all the emotions and have to let go of all my limiting thoughts that I'm holding it until I can start to experience the God consciousness, start to feel present and happy. And it's almost like I do the cancelling beliefs, the surrendering things into God's hands and the observer and the field of feelings. See, is there any fear or any sensations, any shame, any anger? I'd probably be angry if, if suddenly I had to do like 100 jobs tomorrow. So there'd be anger there. I mean, how do I bring up the anger? Just imagine a boss shouting at me saying, you need to get these hundred things done by the end of the day, which I did have in the stock market, you're fired. <laughs> my ego didn't like that one. I mean, I, so it would, it, my ego would be very angry if I thought I was forced to do that. So, okay, let me, let me pretend a horrible boss saying that and let me start being with the fear and stop going into thoughts about it and feel it. Um, Cancelling beliefs. What are all the thoughts, all the baggage, all my wounds from past employment, all the guilt, the shame, the anger, the perfectionism? There must be so many beliefs that I have to cancel and surrender into God's infinite light um, until they dissolve into nothingness. So those are the two aspects, feelings and thoughts, the beliefs and the feelings to transcend it so that I bliss out now. I always know that when I've handed something over, if I try and think about it or feel fear about it, it's like there's nothing there, I can't. And that's very hard to do. It's called transcendence. I'm not saying that can be done in one minute if I've got a lot of fear, anxieties and limiting beliefs in my head. And I do relate, you know, like if suddenly tomorrow is going to be so different, and I think there's going to be hundreds of demands placed on me. And I think I have my financial security. I'd probably have a lot of beliefs and a lot of different types of fears and resentments activated. So I'd have to like, it's like being an investigator. What are my beliefs? Uh, like I believe I have to make my boss happy. Otherwise I'll be fired and I won't be able to pay my bills. So that could be a belief. I have to like keep surrendering and canceling that belief. I believe that my security is based on money and, and, and the expectations of a job. So I have to cancel that as well. Um, I, be I believe that uh, bosses are horrible and controlling. I have to cancel that. I believe I, I, you know, I have a belief that work is horrible and that it's demanding and it takes a lot of time. I'd have to cancel that. Sit with the feelings. I could go to the observer. I could do the letting go, which is just letting those feelings be and just be with them until they dissolve into nothing. The thoughts, which are the, the thoughts, all the limiting beliefs that come up with demands and expectations and work, um, I would just have to I could pray for a miracle that the Holy Spirit show me what are my beliefs that I have to cancel, that I have to hand over until they're deleted from my consciousness. My experience has always been, just to share hope, that when I dissolve all the limiting beliefs and the fears and all the resentments until I feel like it's handed over, I have absolute trust that everything will be fine. I don't need to worry. I don't need to worry about money. God's got it in hands. I don't need to worry about my boss. God's got it in hands. There is no fear when I look inside. There is no resentment. And I, I, I start to get what's called different consciousness. Like, hey, I go, like when I was in the stock market, it was like, if I lose my job, I'll never get another job again. Hey, if this boss is a jerk, God will get me another job or God will just provide. It's not a problem. Um, you can be happy and relaxed. Just trust you'll get things done. Um, actually, there's not just one job and one boss in the world. God will provide you with another one. Don't worry about it. Just show up and hand it over. So all these different thoughts start to come in mind, which weren't my fear-based anger, ego, uh, defiance against it. I always find that as my consciousness gets closer to God, uh, it's almost like there is um, a shield of divine protection. Everything goes according to plan. Uh, the boss is nicer. Things seem to work out at work. I seem to find joy and things at work. So, uh, so the, the, what's the takeaways? Um, transcending the emotions and the beliefs 
investigating what they are and dissolving them, transcending through uh, feeling the feelings, cancelling beliefs, until uh, there is total peace and trust um, uh, for what's going to go. Okay, I'm going to press stop on my